Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video for you today to talk about a very powerful resource that I've come across recently that has really helped with my communication skills and just the way that I come up with and lay out my ideas, whether or not it's in written form or in a YouTube video like this one. And so the reason I was looking up these resources to help with my communication is that, you know, I work at Amazon and a lot of working at Amazon, especially as you move up your career ladder into the more senior roles, I'm a senior engineer right now, is writing documents. And these documents can either be, you know, technical design documents, architecture documents. They can be kind of technical proposals that are going to be in the eyes of, you know, executives or many different senior folks that don't necessarily have a lot of context into the business area that you're working on, but need to basically make a decision based on what you propose in your document. And as I've been writing more and more and being involved in more reviews of other people's documents, there were times where I was like, you know, you read a document and some of them are just so good. You know right away whether or not a document is good. And it's hard to explain why. Like the ideas just flow, the content makes sense, everything is great in that document. It's hard to articulate like why is this so good? And for me personally, the way that I used to write documents was, it was kind of a struggle. I would, you know, like start a document. I knew generally what I wanted to write about or the main idea that I wanted to propose. And I would start writing right away. And, you know, some things would make sense. I'd have to rewrite them or change the sequence of them. And I would just kind of muddle through the waters. And eventually I would come up with an end result and then spend a whole bunch of time just editing it and moving things around until I was happy with it. And I was really frustrated with this because at the end of the day, I still didn't think my documents were at that high level or that top tier level. And I wasn't really happy with the process that I was going through. I was spending way too much time on this. And really what I was looking for was some kind of formula that I can use to apply over and over again without having to struggle through the writing process or the just the idea brainstorming process. And so I started looking for resources on how I can improve my ability to write and communicate effectively. And I'm not sure like when I or how I initially came across this kind of framework that I'm going to be telling you about today. I think it was through YouTube suggestions or something like that. I originally came across this on YouTube, uh, but I eventually came across this book and it is called The Pyramid Principle. It's by a woman named Barbara Minto. And Barbara Minto is someone that works for or worked for McKinsey, which is a consultant company that works with government agencies, a lot of public companies as well, and private companies. And the idea with the pyramid principle is that you start with your main idea, the main focal point of what you're trying to argue, whether that be, you know, in a paper that you're writing or in just a conversation that you're having with someone. And then you go to the next step, the lower levels of the pyramid, which is provide your supporting arguments. So maybe you have a handful of supporting arguments and then you dive into the details of each of those supporting arguments. And that's just kind of the framework that she uses that I think works really effectively. A lot more stuff in this book is more about like how to come up with the ideas, how to define the relationships between the different groupings of ideas, and just to use a kind of a very concrete method, whether or not you want to start from the top. So you have your main idea and you want to kind of group it into categories, or you want to start with the details, which is the bottom of the pyramid, find the relationships between them, and then group them into the subcategories, and then eventually the main idea. So I find that this has been a really powerful and has profoundly impacted the way that I write documents, I make videos, and just kind of plan my subject matter that goes into these videos. So I wanted to share this resource with you. And I think that communication skills, especially for software engineers, are really underrated. And it's something that I think you really need to invest in to be successful throughout your career. So in terms of how you can get started learning about and applying the pyramid principle, I'll leave a link in the top right here on a resource that I initially used from YouTube that just kind of explains the pyramid principle more in detail. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and buy this book from Amazon or whatever provider that you want. It is a relatively old book. It was published in 1981, the first version, but this is kind of a more up-to-date version, but I don't think the core idea has really changed. Maybe just some of the examples and stuff. Uh, it was a little bit expensive. I bought it in Canada. The new version was like 60 bucks, which is kind of crazy for a 300 page book, but I thought it was worth it. Uh, you can buy the older versions, which are much cheaper, or you can probably find a used copy as well. Um, so I just wanted to share this resource and if you do go down the path of learning about this and applying this to your work, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about your experience learning about and applying this framework to your work environment. And I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.